Okay, well this is a very short video on how to check the um, the, the voltage of the, the throttle position sensor on a 01 Civic. This is an 01 Civic Coupe EX. So right now I have the multimeter hooked up. The negative is over here. And then on the throttle position sensor, I had to remove this part, the air cleaner assembly. She goes right here and I removed it and it's about four of these bolts. And you just kind of like pry it off sort of like. And then, well, you have to loosen this too. And that's about it. And then, um, <clears throat> well, anyway, so here's the throttle position sensor right here. And to check the voltage, we need this red wire right here, the center one. And then what I'm doing here is I'm putting like a very thin object to like to get a connection in there. You could use a paper clip, but in my case, I used a, a very small, a very thin nail. So, so to check it, I just basically remove this because they say that we should. Well, it's too easy to disconnect that. I mean, you just throttle it and then you can take it off from there. Well, anyway, so I have it ready to be tested. So I connect the, the positive lead. So on the multimeter, I have it set at 20 for the DC volts. And then I'm gonna check the voltage by connecting this red over here. And it should read about five, but this one reads 4.6, but I don't know if it's supposed to be exactly five or what. But it's like, you know, the crazy thing is that when I, yeah, when I, when I throttle it up, I mean, I can't hold it. Well, anyway, when I throttle it up, when I throttle it up more, I notice it reads high, higher voltage, and I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to do or not. I just know that this is how we check the voltage on the, on the, um, on the, um, um throttle position sensor on an 01 Civic, 01 through 05, I'm assuming. Well, to put the, the cover back on, we need to remove this, um, the rubber part. Okay, well, then the three notches goes like it goes. This is how it installs the, the rubber part. And then we just throw it back on there. Be sure that when you put this back on, to be sure don't forget to connect this. And, don't, and be sure not to forget to tighten this part as well like the one that connects to the throttle body don't forget to time that and then also don't forget to put the cable back on and so and that's it